Hey loves, so I'm gonna to talk to you really quick about my current favorite foundation. You've seen me use this quite a bit and I really love it. I use it in a lot of videos, but I haven't done an actual video on just this foundation. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation. So this has definitely been my favorite foundation for the past few months now. It's a really pale shade. It's not quite light enough for my skin, but it's really close. I feel like it's just, it's the right texture that I like. It's a nice full coverage foundation, but you can share it out definitely. I like to mix a little bit of Manic Panic Dream Tone in, and that definitely helps share it out a little bit. I also apply it with a damp brush. I will spritz my brush with either MAC Fix Plus or the Smashbox Primer Water, and that helps kind of share it out as well. I still get really nice medium coverage, but it doesn't look so full on. But even when you do go full on with this, it doesn't look cakey, which I'm all about. I do not want to have that cake face. So nice coverage. It stays on all day. It has a semi-matte finish, so it's not super matte. It's not like cakey matte, which again, all about that. Do not like super matte foundations. I didn't know if I was actually going to like it because I don't prefer matte foundations. I actually like dewy foundations, but I love this. And I have been using it with the Maybelline Blur and Illuminate Primer, and that kind of helps add a little bit more illumination back to your skin and make it a little, look a little more dewy. You can also mix a luminizer in with this. I know Revlon has the lights and pink lights. This is definitely one that I love to mix with any foundation that's a little too matte or a little too thick for me. I love mixing this with the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. Just makes it perfect. It works great with this one. It's just a great liquid luminizer, but you can use any. Yeah, I just threw that. <laughs> any liquid luminizer and it works great. I have had a lot of trouble with foundation staying on my nose throughout the day so I've had to I'm trying this new technique that I saw Wayne Goss talk about where you put on your primer and then you powder your primer and then you put on your foundation and everything and then you powder again. So it's kind of like it sounds like a lot but I feel like there's something about setting that primer down into your pores that just works. So between that and this foundation I've been getting the result that I want. I feel like if I do that with other foundations, even high-end foundations that I have. I was doing it with a couple other ones. The results weren't as good. So I feel like it's definitely all about this foundation. It doesn't sink into my pores. It doesn't turn into any fine lines. Like there's nothing bad at all I can say about this foundation. I can't say anything. I love it. I'm totally sold. I'm a huge fan of the L'Oreal True Match. I really like L'Oreal foundations. It's very rare that I find one that I don't like. The only one that I didn't really like was the visible blur one I think mostly because it was way too dark so I had to mix so much dream tone in it that you completely lost any of the actual point of the foundation I didn't really like how it looked on my skin but I love this I love it love it I like the little chart on the back that kind of tells you about the foundation and what to expect from it, it says demi matte semi matte 24 hour coverage it says medium coverage so it doesn't even say that it's high coverage but you definitely can get some pretty full coverage and I have layered it on certain areas when I have any trouble areas I put another layer on and it works just fine and then it says oil control and then texture air light it it's like having all of the coverage and not really feeling it it's amazing I prefer this foundation over any of my high-end foundations right now I am just completely sold I have a feeling we are gonna be best friends through spring and summer because my face will just I'm just gonna react a little more and I'm just gonna have a little more oil in my t-zone and this is gonna help me so good anyway a lot of these things I've already told you about this foundation but I just wanted to make a separate video declaring my love for it I guess because I have all these other foundation videos and I don't have one on like my favorite foundation right now so so good again I don't know if it lasts 24 hours because I have not worn it for 24 hours but it definitely lasts through the day and is you can notice somewhere like I get a little glowy at the end like when I get home after I probably have it on for like 10 hours by the time I you know, get ready, go to work, I'm at work for eight and a half hours and come home. So at least 10 hours, 10 to 12 hours. I've had it on for even longer than that, probably up to 16 hours, but I haven't like analyzed it after that long because by that point I just came home and didn't, you know, I'm rambling. You know what I'm saying? You get distracted. You're not looking at your makeup. If you're just home relaxing, you just haven't washed your face yet. But I love that when I get home that I can relax and I don't feel like, oh, I have to get all this makeup off my face. Yes. 
How many times can I tell you how much I love this? Fantastic foundation. Have you guys tried this foundation? I feel like it's a little more expensive for a drugstore foundation. I think that it was $12.99 when I purchased it. You can always wait to get a buy one get one half off on L'Oreal at Rite Aid or Walgreens or CVS or wherever else you may purchase it. It's definitely worth, worth the full price. I haven't tried the powder yet, but now I really want to because I am so in love with the foundation. Definitely number one drugstore foundation right now. I so good. They better not discontinue this. This better stay around because this is amazing. Amazing. If they just did one shade lighter than this, like if they did a porcelain instead of just a classic ivory, I would be like, I would marry that foundation. Crazy? A little bit. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down below. If you want to, if you like found, like individual reviews like this where I talk about one foundation or one palette or one blush or anything like that, just give this video a thumbs up so I know. And if you want to see more videos like this, let me know by giving me the thumbs up and commenting down below. And I think that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I love you all so much. Bye.